Hey everyone, my name is Dave. And I'm Spandana, and this is SV Turtle, our 1994 caliber, which we hope to sail around the world with. So this channel will be our travelogue, uh, a way for us to record our journey, the places we visit, and the things we learn along the way. So join us every week as we learn a little bit more about our boat, a little bit more about ourselves, and about the great big world out there. Uh, and this week we're going to be looking at uh, a tour of uh, our new home, uh, you know, the, the different parts of it and uh, what makes up Turtle. All right, let's go. Okay, let's do it. This is what is called a forward head on our boat. It's all the way to the front of the boat within the cabin. Um, so this is next to the uh, master stateroom. Um, so basically this is uh, our main bathroom. Uh, so we've got a sink over here, uh, a marine toilet over here. Um, lots of storage in this area. We have uh, one piece of storage over here, uh, this cabinet here, this cabinet here. Um, and uh, there's actually really good ventilation in here as well. So right above us, we have a hatch that opens up to the outside and another hatch over here. Uh, so that way, way we can keep this area really nicely vented and especially when the tropics like allow good airflow through the boat. Um, and stepping into here is actually a nice feature of this boat as well. Uh, we've got good seat down here, uh, nice storage over here for things like shampoo and detergent and things like that. Um, we've also got a, uh, a shower right over here with a closing door. So we can do, you know, take a shower in here, keep that door closed and basically keep all the water from kind of messing up the rest of the bathroom. All right, so that was a forward head. Let's head over to the uh, master stateroom now. Okay, so this is our uh, master stateroom. This is basically the main bedroom for the boat. Uh, so we've got what's called a Pullman berth here. Basically, it's a bed that takes up most of, most of the width of the boat. Uh, it's queen size. It obviously is cut a little bit so that it actually fits into the, the shape of the boat overall. Uh, but you can see above it, we've got tons of storage, uh, lots of space for us to stretch out uh, in this room. Uh, and again, lots of ventilation uh, along the sides uh, and up here as well. We've got a pretty big hatch, so you know when we're out at sea, we can open that up um, and get again great ventilation uh, within this room. Uh, so underneath the bed itself, we've got uh, AC and heat coming out of here. We've got quite a bit of bit of storage uh, in these shelves and these drawers, uh, and then a huge cabinet over here on the starboard side for you know whatever storage we need. Right now, it has all of our power tools as we're continuing to work on the boat. Uh, and then finally in this room, we actually already have, we have a little writing desk as well. So there's a little stool that comes out from underneath that. Um, you can sit here and write or work on a laptop. Uh, and again, a huge cabinet over here, um, deep with storage for right now, all of our camera gear. Okay, so let's head back into the main salon. Okay, so this is the main salon of the boat. This is what you can think of as kind of the living room. Um, so you can see we've got uh, tons of seating both on the port and starboard side, uh, enough for around six people to sit uh, comfortably. Um, we've got, uh, again, tons of storage on the left side and the right side. Uh, you can see that we have uh, hatches all along, again, for ventilation, wherever we are. Um, again, big places to store stuff, uh, speakers, fans. Um, so really everything we need set up inside of this main living room. Um, and you can see it looks very spacious uh, normally. Um, and whenever we need to, we can convert it to a dining room by using this drop-down table over here. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so this removable leg goes in, the table comes down, and there's a little spot on the floor that it slides into. Uh, and you can comfortably sit here at this table. Uh, it has these uh, sides that are up so that uh, things don't slide around while we're at sea. Um, we also have storage inside of there for uh, any bottles or anything like that. And uh, if there, we do have more guests, this side comes up and uh, also has a, a stand that it goes on top of so that uh, people over there can sit and uh, enjoy a meal with us as well. All right, so let me close it up and take you over to the galley. Okay, so this is the main galley uh, or the kitchen of the boat. Uh, so we've got a double sink over here, uh, very deep. Uh, we've got hot water and cold water on this side, uh, as well as a foot pump down here that allows us to conserve the amount of water we use by just using our feet to kind of pump out the exact amount that we need. Um, we do have uh, 150 roughly gallons of water underneath, underneath the, uh, the main cabin. 
Um, so that's more than enough for a lot of the, um, the, the passages we plan to take. Okay, so looking over here, you can see we have quite a few spices that we've uh, acquired over the years. Uh, so right now, this is a temporary location. We are looking at building out basically a spice rack over here to store them over time uh, and also secure them as we travel. Uh, again, big storage over here for plates and cups and things like that. Uh, and actually a very large refrigerator that is a uh, basically you lift up these two panels and inside of the uh, um, inside of the counter is that where we actually store all of our uh, refrigerated goods. So going back a little bit more, we have two methods of cooking. Uh, we have our electric oven and our electric stove over here. And we have a propane stove as well. So uh, when we have enough power from our solar panels and our batteries, uh, we can use our electric oven and stove. Um, otherwise, we have propane to uh, cook with normally. All right, so let's head over to the nav station. All right, so uh, here is the nav station. So you can see it's a, it's a very cozy spot. <laughs> the ceiling is uh, just above my head and I, I kind of just barely fit into here, but uh, this is where we keep all of our electronics. So this is our electrical panel, it has all of our switches to turn things on, turn them off. Uh, we also have things like our radio over here, um, our battery, uh, battery monitor and our solar charge monitor. Um, so this is basically kind of the, uh, the nerve center of the boat where we really kind of um, all the electronics and everything else is feeding off of this. All right. All right. So this is the aft stateroom. Um, basically it fits next to the cockpit. It goes under. There's a, also another good sized bed in here. Uh, for now, we're just using this for storage. So we've got our two sails up in here, uh, and a bunch of cleaning supplies. But once we get underway, we'll kind of clean this up and get it ready for any guests that happen to come over. All right. So let's go and take a look at the top of the um, boat. But before we do that, I just want to point out that underneath these uh, stairs, when you unlatch some of these locks, um, you will find our 54 horsepower Yanmar engine, um, which we fire up when we need to, but hopefully not too often with our wonderful sails that will be on there. So let's go up and take a look up above deck. So. As you come up, what I think are one of the sturdiest stairs that I've ever seen with more handholds, uh, you come to our helm. Please note the awesome table that's out here that is going to be many, many, uh, the spot for many, many late dinners and uh, sundowners. <laughs> um, but you uh, get to our helm with the captain's wheel and all the instrumentation that we need in order to guide us through the oceans. You will have our bimini, and above the bimini is uh, both of our, our both of our solar panels, which charge up using the sun, and they charge up our um, lead acid batteries that are underneath the cockpit locker here, which we can use uh, when we're out at sea when we don't have access to electricity. All right, so oh, and back here we can see our nine-foot um, AB lamina dinghy, and she is going to be our car in a way of turtle is considered our home. She's going to be used for us to go back and forth from shore to our boat wherever we're anchored. So we're excited for that. She comes with a five horsepower Yamaha engine, which we still have to service. So we'll get to that later. So now let's go that way and we'll go up. And as we're going up, you'll notice all the winches um, and all the lines that are underneath this hard top, which is called the Dodger. So as we go forward, something that, oh, let me put my glasses on. <sighs> something that I really love about this boat are all the handholds. I love that there is no part of this boat that I feel insecure walking around in, no matter how bad the weather. So as we go, and this would usually be closed when our ladder is not here. Um, and so there's no point that you don't have something to hold on to. These are teak handrails. Uh, pretty sturdy and in pretty good shape. These are extra handholds, and these are called Dorad boxes. And their job basically is to let the wind in, but not the water in. This, along with all of our hatches, uh, provides us with really good ventilation all around the boat. As we move to the forward of the boat, you will see that our mast is missing. It is currently getting serviced. Uh, we are getting all new standing rigging put in place. But usually this would be where the mast would be and attached to the mast would be our roller furling uh, main. And if we go to the front, you will see that we also have our roller furling jib 
up front. So let's go on ahead. So when the standing rigging gets put back up, that's when our um, roller furler front sail will go up. But also you'll notice space for two anchors, electric windlass, and underneath here, we will keep all of our fenders as well as any extra anchors that we would like to keep. So that is a, I'm sure, a long or short tour of Turtle, depending on how interested you are in all of these things. We hope that we have piqued your curiosity. We hope that you tune in every week to watch us succeed and fail in a numerous number of things. Um, and yeah, welcome. <laughs>